When birds are sick with the bird flu, they kind of appear almost drunk and can even fall from the sky, dying rather quickly. So now Scripps researchers are saying even one single mutation could be enough to increase our chances of the virus attaching to human cells. Avian flu, bird flu, or scientifically known as H5N1. The virus could not only transmit from human to human, but in addition, uh, cause very severe illness. Dr. James Paulson with the Scripps Research Institute is a professor in the Department of Immunology and Microbiology. While his research raises a red flag, he says there's no immediate cause for alarm. Avian viruses have been the progenitors of all human pandemics. Even the last one in 2009, which came from pigs, uh, it, it contained, that virus contained the avian genes. So we've seen bird flu infect pigs, bats, most recently dairy cows, and humans as well, who have been in close contact with an infected animal. But there's growing concern the virus could mutate, allowing it to transmit from human to human. The likelihood that a single mutation can be uh, can happen in, in a virus is, is very high. Most infections now are mild. Fever, cough, sore throat, and pink eye is common. But researchers say if the amino acids adapt and attach to human receptors, it could prompt another deadly pandemic. That's, of course, what we worry about. We're always surprised by nature. So if a cow is sick with the flu, is your steak safe? In short, yes, but health experts are warning not to drink raw milk. The Food and Drug Administration says pasteurized milk is safe, adding the virus becomes inactive during that process. The virus is contaminating the, the machines that milk the cows, and then that's the source of infection from cow to cow to cow. Researchers are monitoring it closely, but say if the virus adapts, it could spread just as easily as the regular flu, inhaling a droplet in the air or touching a dirty doorknob. Professor Paulson predicts the initial response would be increased access to drugs like Tamiflu, and he's certain Big Pharma is already working on a vaccine. So if you do have a sick or dead bird in your yard, be sure to use protective equipment when you remove it. Keep your dog or cat away from it as well. Reporting tonight from Kearney Mesa, Jenny Day, CBS 8. Thanks, Jenny.